Uh, my wife and I really spent a lot of time in prayer. And we really wanted to see this congregation become a, a healthy family a church, a church that prioritized families, and, and that meant, you know, really building the youth ministry, the children's ministry, and also balancing the the, the schedule and the demands that, that the church places on uh, families, so that you have time to be a family, you know. And so that's why we don't have tons of meetings. We try to make the most of the the weekend services, and we carefully schedule time uh, to uh, grow the family. And so this church has been an inc- and is an amazing amazing church family. You, 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 everybody look around and tell each other, you're, you're really awesome. You're really awesome. You know that? You really are. <laughs> and, um, and, and as a church and as a family, you know, families multiply and it, that's part of being a family. And as a church, we've multiplied and, and launched other churches. I've talked about that many times, but that's part of what we do in the vision of this church. And so I'm just real quickly explain this this annual report on the first page, this unified vision, is just, just my heart sharing with you the idea behind you know what we are as a church. We're all about making disciples and multiplying churches, birthed out of a passion for Jesus, and how each congregation, I really think in 2019, we, we, um, there were many, many challenges um, in 2019, but one thing that we did well is we really, I think, hit a stride of being three congregations, one church, but three congregations working together and I'm super super proud to be a part of this tremendous church on the second page or I guess that would be yeah this the, the next page the 2019 combined expenses report so we really tried to make this meaningful in the past we've done pie charts without much explanation this is mostly explanation with very few numbers um, if you saw the reports from which we get this um, information, you would be shocked because it's pages and pages of columns of numbers. We spend a lot of time, this is one thing as, you know, just attending church, you don't see uh, most of what we do, but we spend many, many hours. We track every cent that comes in, every penny, and how that penny is spent. So we can track um, everything that comes. We know where the money's coming from and where it's going because that's that's just good stewardship. But we break it down here in a way that we hope is meaningful to you and how, how we as a combined. So this is all three combined um, because we're managed as one church, one budget, one board. So this is a report of what it looks like and how we use the money and an explanation of the four categories. The next page breaks that down because not we manage it all as one, but it's actually accounted separately. So I can tell you exactly how much money came in at Nichols, how much money came in at Vandalia, how much money came in at Vine for every little thing, uh, and then how that money was used. So, uh, you know, and, and so you get an idea, and you'll see if you look here that there are some. Some of, some of the campuses have greater expenses in payroll versus uh, building uh, versus outreach. And so you can see how it's uh, spread out individually, even though we're working together uh, as three churches. And then what's exciting for me is uh, the next page is the missions report. This is just the same thing that we do quarterly, but this is for the whole year of 2019. And again, because you're a generous ch- church, we were able to support the kingdom building throughout the world. And what really excited me when I was looking this over is that three of these missions were actually founded by people that are from New Day. And uh, John Yurdy, who was here for service, he's back for a visit. And his wife, Reagan, uh, started the ministry in Peru and uh, are reaching the street kids that live in one of the poorest cities in the world. And um, the church in Japan that we support, Dennis Sager, uh, Dennis Kankaku. But Dennis was the first youth pastor way back in the day um, and uh, went to Bible college, eventually uh, moved to Japan and started a church. And so he was birthed out of this congregation. And then the Shine in Malawi was uh, co-birthed by the, the Vomers who are part of this congregation. And so, uh, and then we support other missionaries 
um, as well. So it's just encouraging to see that we as a church not only are growing churches and multiplying congregations locally and nationally with our South Carolina church, but we're influencing churches and ministries all over the world. The final page is a quick summary of where we're at with the 320 and beyond and um, kind of catch you up as to what we were able to accomplish in 2019 and where we're going to take it from here. And so we are perfectly considering our options. I encourage you, please read through this. We put in a lot of time to make this meaningful. And if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to shoot me an email or schedule an appointment or, or just come and talk to me. All right, here you go, Bill. Thank you, Pastor Cameron. All right.